Today, we're making a Christmas berry honey boche. Let's get started. So what exactly is Christmas berry honey? Well, it is honey from the Christmas berry blossom, which is found in Hawaii. Now there's lots of different places, but Hawaii is a big one. And it has a couple things. It has a kind of chestnutty slash herbal herbal aftertaste. Um, some people have also said it has like a dried fig and plum, warm spice taste. Uh, it really depends on where you're getting it from because each one is dependent on the terroir. So here's what we did. We went ahead and took this recipe right on the screen and mixed it together. We started with bocheting our honey. So I made this color wheel, as you can see right here. And I bocheted the honey for 45 minutes to get it to be just a little bit different. Bocheting is the process of heating it up. So I got it to not quite a boil and let it just kind of simmer there. Obviously that's going to change some of the flavors and the profile of the honey. We then mixed it into our water and from that point, um, all we had to do was add our yeast. And I'm a little bit lazy here, and I'm adding in my yeast um, nutrient, which is Fermate O in with the yeast in the primary. I started about seven projects at the same time that I started this one, so there's no way I'm gonna remember to do a staggered nutrient schedule. Let's go ahead and go now to after the primary. About four weeks later, we go ahead and rack it again because it cleared up some and we want to make sure it looks good and get off the sediment. We are also going to stabilize it with potassium sorbate and potassium metabisulfite. This is going to halt any possible fermentation because I do want to back sweeten as I've decided. So here I am adding both of these. You can pasteurize if you don't want to use them, but you need to stabilize your brew if you're going to back sweeten because you don't want your yeast to keep going. That will negate all of your back sweetening process. So now that it has been stabilized, we wait for a little bit and we come to a back sweetening point. So here I am adding one half pound of Christmas berry honey back to it to back sweeten. And I wanted more tannin. So I am using whiskey barrel chips to add some tannic value and some woody character to this. Let's see what it tastes like right now. All right, half an ounce of whiskey barrel chips, half an ounce. Sorry, half an ounce of whiskey barrel chips, um, eight ounces of honey, back to it. Current gravity or final gravity, 1.010. Oh yeah, that honey really brings back some of that berry flavor that I want. I think with the, the tannin and the flavor component from the whiskey barrel chips, this thing's gonna be bomb. The nice thing about chips is they're quick. Like I said, five to seven days is probably all we'll need. So I'll be back soon. Until then, here we go. All right, here we are for the finale. It has been three weeks since we added our oak and our honey and did all of that stuff. I have gone ahead and bottled it literally just a few minutes ago. I'll show you right now. And um, I originally was gonna leave the chips on for like two weeks, but I just kept taste testing it and I wasn't too pleased with where it was until now. So they sat on for three weeks, which is an abnormal amount of time for chips, for cubes, and for spirals, that's a pretty normal amount of time. So what does this thing look like? I tried to save a small amount in my bottling process, but I ended up getting some lees, and so this is a little hazy. Uh, I wanted to not have to open one of these bottles, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I wanna get a clear pour of this, because this thing is indeed clear. All right, here's our pour of it. I mean, it looks really nice. It's super clear. I love the coloring on it. It is like, I would say pinnacle mead color. If you were to describe what mead is to somebody, I think this is the color <laughs> that they would uh, they would think of. Um, it is so uh, berry, juicy, medium floral. Uh, it's just, not, it's not super bright. And I, I kind of teeter back and forth on whether or not to try and add an acid punch or do something to bring out brightness. But then I realized this is a boche and I'm adding whiskey barrel chips. I'm not really going for bright. I'm going for kind of dark. 
and that's what I have. Those the whiskey barrel chips kind of continue to encompass the um, dark profile that I'm going for. You get some sweetness in there on the nose, which is nice. I mean, the aroma is fantastic. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's very buttery. That extra time on oak, I think really provided some more tannin and a little more wash, or sorry, a little more grip. Um, and it just really accentuates the honey character. The honey is super, I mean, pretty berry-esque. I get hints of like blackberry, maybe some blueberry um, in there. The, the darker berry profiles. Yeah, it's like, it's just smooth. We're sitting somewhere in the realm of 9%-ish ABV, um, maybe 10% at this point. So not super high ABV comparative to some things. It's just really smooth. And we're only, one, two, three, four months old, three months old on this guy. Yeah, we're about, we're about three and a half months old. And that's pretty smooth, pretty good for that age. Man, uh, this honey is super interesting. And obviously you might not have the ability to go and get it. Um, if you're able to, I encourage you to because it's worth trying. But the profiles you get out of various honeys are so fun. The Beauchang factor in here, it altered in kind of, um, I, I think this honey was already a little dark, but it made it feel even darker. The Beauchang actually helped to add a little bit of acid balance without me having to do much. Um, sometimes when you make a mead, you have to balance with adjuncts like lemon juice or citric acid or malic acid, something like that. I don't think I needed any of that here because of a little bit of that caramelizing of the honey. Now, I've had some really dark Beauchets before. I've done a three hour Beauchet. I've done an hour Beauchet. I've done a 15 minute Beauchet. I've done a video that's like, um, five levels of Beauchesne. I don't know if it's out now. It might be, it'll be on the channel at some point, but I've been through this process and the, where I'm at with this is, I think the level of Beauchesne that I did to this honey really provides some caramelizing, some different character profiles to come out without it totally demolishing what the honey is. Yeah, super good. Again, I know I, I uh, am well aware that a lot of you are probably not going to be able to get this exact honey. So if you do have a chance to, I encourage you to, but more specifically, this should be hopefully inspiration for you to try different kinds of honey. Of course, buying local is great. And I want you to support your local apiaries and do what you can with that. You can also support the online apiary people and get some more varietals. For example, if I was only buying local honey for me, I would only ever be able to use um, clover honey and wildflower honey, which is very limiting on some of the experiments I want to do. So getting online will allow you to find the honeys that you'd like. I'm a fan of this. I have a bunch of other meads on the channel with varietals of honeys. I've used pretty much every single one at this point. So if you wanna find one, just look it up and you can probably find it on the channel. Uh, I always say this at the end, but the reason this is good is because I picked a, a nice yeast to pair well with it, but also I balanced the brew. I looked at my acidity to tannin to sweetness level and I balanced it. That is super key. As somebody who has competed in mead competitions and judged a mead competition and will judge even more, I'm always looking for balance. The biggest problem I see with people is they don't balance their brews. So of course, rely on your taste buds, but share with your friends, get their kind of opinions, balance it how you feel it needs to be, and make sure your mead is a good representation of what mead should be. So thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you wanna support the channel. We're on the road to, right now, 40K. I don't know at what point this is going out. We might be at it. If not, help us get to 40K or further and have a great day. Cheers.